thousands of Palestinians chant death to America as they demonstrate against Donald Trump's Middle East peace deal before it is announced. Trump due to release Middle East peace plan Tuesday alongside Netanyahu plan expected to allow Israel to annex half the West Bank along with settlements thousands of Palestinians took to the streets to protest ahead of the release. Palestinian leaders say Trump is biased towards Israel and the plan was put together without their input by Reuters published, 1706 Greenwich Mean Time, the 28th of January 2020, updated, 1706 Greenwich Mean Time, the 28th of January 2020 thousands of Palestinians demonstrated against U.S. President Donald Trump's Israeli-Palestinian peace plan on Tuesday hours before its scheduled release at a ceremony in Washington. Israeli troops meanwhile reinforced positions near a flashpoint site between the Palestinian city of Ramallah and the Jewish settlement of Beit El in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. While Israeli leaders have welcomed Trump's long-delayed plan, Palestinian leaders rejected it even before its official release. They say his administration is biased towards Israel. Thousands of Palestinians have taken to the streets in Gazi City to protest Donald Trump's Middle East peace plan before the report is released on Tuesday. Israel has said the deal is the opportunity of the century, but Palestinians say the plan was put together without their input and is biased. Palestinians in Nablus, in the occupied West Bank, chanted, Death to America, and, Death to Israel, as they protested the plan. Trump has touted the report as a very big plan, ahead of its delayed release on Tuesday, pictured protesters in the Gaza Strip The Palestinians fear Trump's blueprint will dash their hopes for an independent state in the West Bank, Gaza and East Jerusalem, areas Israel captured in the 1967 Middle East War, by permitting Israel to annex large chunks of occupied territory including blocks of Jewish settlements. Diab Alou, the Palestinians' ambassador to Egypt, said on Tuesday they had requested an urgent meeting of the Arab League Council at ministerial level, which Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas would attend. In Gaza City on Tuesday, protesters waved Palestinian flags and held aloft posters of Abbas. Trump is a fool, Palestine is not for sale, an activist shouted through a loudspeaker. Others chanted, Death to America, and, Death to Israel, as as they burned tires and posters of Trump. More protests were expected after Trump announces details of his plan later in the day. An Israeli military spokesman said troops had been sent to reinforce the West Bank's Jordan Valley, an area which Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has pledged to partially annex. Hussam Zamlat, head of the Palestinian mission to Britain, told Reuters in London that Trump's peace plan was merely political theater, it is not a peace deal. It is this bandistanization of the people of Palestine and the land of Palestine. We will be turned into bandistans, he said, referring to the nominally independent black enclaves in apartheid era South Africa. Trump is due to release the plan Tuesday alongside Benjamin Netanyahu at the White House, amid widespread condemnation from Palestinians. Palestinians fear the plan with offer financial incentives in return for allowing Israel to annex around half of the West Bank and settlements in occupied territories. Palestinians marched during a protest against Trump's Middle East peace plan in the streets of Gaza City on Tuesday. June. 28, 2020 will mark the official legal stamp of approval of the United States for Israel to implement a full-fledged apartheid system, he said. Israel vehemently rejects any comparison to the former South African regime. Trump will deliver joint remarks with Netanyahu at the White House later on Tuesday to outline his plan, the result of three years' work by his senior advisor and son-in-law Jared Kushner. He met with Netanyahu and the Israeli opposition leader Benny Gantz ahead of the announcement. Both were briefed on its contents. Netanyahu said it was the opportunity of a century and we're not going to pass it by, Gantz called it a significant and historic milestone, a Netanyahu spokesman said he would fly to Moscow on Wednesday to brief Russian President Vladimir Putin on the proposals. But Israeli-Palestinian talks broke down in 2014, and it is far from clear that the Trump plan will resuscitate them. Palestinian and Arab sources who were briefed on a draft of the plan fear that it will seek to bribe Palestinians into accepting Israeli occupation, in what could be a prelude to Israel annexing about half of the West Bank. 
A view from of the Palestinian neighborhood of Jabal Mukabur shows the Israeli settlement of Naf Zion and the old city of Jerusalem including the Dome of the Rock. An Israeli settler walks past a Palestinian house with verandas covered in meshing with one bearing a protest sign reading in English, Arabs are prohibited, this is apartheid street. Further obstacles include the continued expansion of Israeli settlements on occupied land and the rise to power in Gaza of the Islamist movement Hamas, which is formally committed to Israel's destruction. Palestinian leaders say they were not invited to Washington, and that no plan can work without them. An Abbas spokesman urged any Arab or Muslim officials invited to the ceremony to boycott it. Addressing their fears, Trump said on Monday, they probably won't want it initially, Dad, but I think in the end they will. It's very good for them. In fact it's overly good to them, but on Monday Abbas said he would not agree to any deal that did not secure a two-state solution. That formula, the basis for many years of frustrated international peace efforts, envisages Israel coexisting with a Palestinian state. Palestinians have refused to deal with the Trump administration in protest at such pro-Israeli policies as it's moving the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, whose eastern half the Palestinians seek for a future capital. Trump is due to announce the plan on Tuesday alongside Netanyahu as Palestinians say they were not consulted on the contents. Palestinians protesters burn a poster depicting U.S. President Donald Trump during a demonstration against the Middle East peace deal in Gaza City. Palestinians chant slogans during a protest against the so-called deal of the century, planned by Trump to solve the conflict between Palestinians and Israel. The Trump administration in November reversed decades of U.S policy when Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Washington no longer regarded the settlements on West Bank land as a breach of international law. Palestinians in most countries view the settlements as illegal, which Israel disputes, John Alterman, director of the Middle East program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, said both Trump and Netanyahu were looking to change the subject from their own domestic troubles, the problem is it doesn't feel like this is the beginning of an important initiative, Alterman said. Trump was impeached in the House of Representatives last month and is on trial in the Senate on abuse of power charges. On Tuesday Netanyahu was formally indicted in court on corruption charges, after he withdrew his bid for parliamentary immunity from prosecution. Both men deny any wrongdoing. Let's block ads. Why? 